I'm Justin Chang, film critic for the Los Angeles Times, and this week I'm reviewing The Girl in the Spider's Web, a new dragon tattoo story, starring Claire Foy as the latest incarnation of Lizbeth Salander. I'm transferring all of your cash to your wife. He won't hurt you again. All oh, those lucky ladies. Why did you help everyone but me? The Girl in the Spider's Web arrives seven years after David Fincher's adaptation of The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and a lot has changed. The director is Fidi Alvarez, the scaremeister behind thrillers like The Evil Dead and Don't Breathe. The source material is not the late Stig Larsson's Millennium Trilogy, but a new novel by his countryman David Lagerkrantz. And as Lizbeth Salander, Rooney Mara has been replaced by Claire Foy, who is best known as Queen Elizabeth II from The Crown, but who acquits herself well as everyone's favorite Swedish pansexual goth vigilante cyber sleuth. Unfortunately, Foy's performance is the only element of the film that doesn't feel like a major downgrade. The bone-deep chill of Fincher's movie would be a hard act for anyone to follow, and this one is done no favors by an espionage plot that feels like a cross between Mission Impossible and Mercury Rising. It's nice to see Lakeith Stanfield in a key role as an NSA operative, and the movie tries to honor the series' roots by giving Lizbeth's traumatic past a central narrative role. But none of it is enough to keep the girl in the spider's web from feeling like a well-crafted slog. I'm Justin Chang for the Los Angeles Times.